This is how to distribute exponents over multiplication. In the case of something like 3 times 5 squared, you would want to multiply 3 times 5, so you get 15, and when you square that, then you get 225. That's fine, except when you have something with x's or weird things on the inside, what do you do with it? So I'm going to ex explain it with regular numbers first. So we know the answer 225 here. So what does this mean? Squared means two things that are multi two things, this thing duplicated twice multiplied together. So that's what it means to be squared. Well, when I have things multiplied, all in a, in a row like this, these parentheses are useless. So this is really 3 times 5 times 3 times 5. We have this other fancy property called the associative property, which means the scooch around property, that says that if I have the same thing all over the place here with multiplication, I can scooch these around. So I'm going to scooch them around so that I have 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. So that's the scooching property. Well, what is 3 times 3 but 3 squared? And 5 times 5 is 5 squared. So now you see that 3 times 5 is really, 3 times 5 squared is the same as 3 squared times 5 squared. The proof is in the pudding though, so we want to make it look like this. So this is 9 times 5 squared is 25. And if I have nine quarters, how many dollars do I have? Well, I have two dollars and twenty-five cents. So there's two twenty-five. So that's distributing exponents. The exponent distributes over the multiplication, like this. Three times five squared. So this can go whoop and whoop. There's my distributive, so three squared times five squared.